Hey everyone, I was trying to get my audio connected. It just was not going. It was not having it. It said no. It wasn't doing it for me. Shout out to everybody that's here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Lord have mercy. Shout out to everybody. I got 53 people in the house already. Jeez. I'm here, everybody. I'm here. Shout out to everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being patient. It was my audio. I had to restart the computer. And it was bothering me so much. Yay, I'm here. We're here. We're here. We're here. I'm here. Look, I'm here. I've just been busy. Y'all, you don't even know. I've been busy. So I'm going to be off camera because I just, I'm like, I need to be off camera, be a little more relaxed. Uh, shout out to all the new uh, subbies. Yeah, this is the new headset. Hold up. It's right here. It's giving um, Janet Jackson, Backstreet Boy. You know what I'm saying? And I can hide it with my hair. That's the best part. Like. Y'all don't even know that I have it. Look, I can hide it with my hair. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Shout out to everybody. Okay, I, am I killing it? I'm trying. It's been a little bit crazy. <laughs> no, oh my God. They so, so it's tomorrow. This is what I know. Because it, listen, I might say something and then they might fucking change it. And I'll be like, all right, whatever. It's tomorrow so far. Tomorrow. I think 7 a.m. That's what they told us. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. It's giving Rhythm Nation. You already know. It's giving Rhythm Nation. Yes, y'all. See, I love that I can hide it. But I'm not going to lie to you. I do miss my other headset. I'm just kind of sad about it. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, He's doing, he is, <clears throat> what is it? He's on a splint. I think that's what you call it. Um, so he's got one of those like hardened towel type of cast, but he needs to have the surgery, uh, in order to get into like a real, real cast. So that's kind of where we're at right now. It's been a little bit crazy. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see. Hopefully you get, I, I hope so too, nonsense, but, um, you know, he's a little nervous. He's a little nervous and whatnot. And I'm just like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> just, I'm like, hopefully this is one of those life learning lessons for him in his early young teenage life because i don't know i was that kid that all right i broke a bone i don't need to break another one uh, he's broken two so in his lifetime so it's a lot so hopefully he'll learn from it but let me shout everybody out so we can get started um because <clears throat> we definitely got some stuff to get into today and i wanted to give you guys some information Shout out to Big Nana Nonsense. Thank you for being here. SW. <clears throat> Let's see what else you guys are saying in the chat. Nana, thank you for being here. Uh, who else did I see in here? I thought I saw the Rowdy. Thank you. Uh, Tazzy, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Yes, everybody come through. And make sure you guys are hitting the like button, please. And thank you. It helps in the algorithm, of course. We're going to get into it because um, I got some stuff to tell you guys. Uh, but I want to greet all the members. Generally, Jenny, thank you for being here. And who else did I see? Evil Queen, thank you for being here. Shout out to you. Um, who else? Deborah, Rose with Thorns, SW. All right, I think I see everybody for the most part. Erica, Neat Noodle, thank you for being here. Happy Saturday or Sunday, depending on what side of the world you're in. Hey, Bo, Sweet Jewels, thank you for hitting the like button, please and thank you. Hey, Rihanna, thank you. Julie, um, Atlas Aurora, thank you for being here. Who else is here? Oki, uh, I'm seeing people come in, so I just wanted to greet everybody. Hey, Kate, thank you for being here. I'd be nervous about surgery. It's not fun at all. Uh, I need Halloween to hurry up and happen. I'm going to eat all the candy before, <laughs> before all the kids get in here. You're going to eat all that candy? <laughs> Rose with Thorn has been a member for six months. Thank you so much for your support, Rose. You are awesome, awesome. Hoping for answers. Thank you for being here. Uh, Just360, you made it. Shout out to you. You're not late. You're right on time. I'm actually late because I couldn't get my Rhythm Nation headphones going. The new headset is over here. Look at that. It's going to make me dance. Rhythm Nation. Janet Jackson. Um. Okay. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Mm. I've been talking a lot, so my throat kind of hurts a little bit. Um, uh, let's get it together, all right? Is, so I think it would be best. We're going to talk about Chelsea Grimm, and I think it would be best to start with 
SF Investigates tweets, um, I did, I was able to communicate with SF Investigates and he shared with me some photos that I'm not allowed to share, you know, out and I'm not going to out of respect, of course, for the family, for the investigation. Um, but I completely understand um, his conclusions and, you know, it definitely gives context to uh, what he has posted. And I'm very limited to what I can and can't share as it pertains to what I know. Um, but I will do my best to share at least a little something for everybody, okay? So if you have been, if you don't know, SF Investigates has a very active Twitter page. Um, you guys make sure you go follow him. Now, it's funny because um, before I really get into this, I uh, shout out to my beautiful, wonderful um, member, who gave me the heads up about what people were posting on some Facebook groups, okay? And I kind of already know who posted uh, some of the, like, they, they just, they, let me tell you something. What I have come to learn here on YouTube, um, just being a content creator, being a subscriber, is people never have the balls to really just tell you, the issue that they have with you in your face, right? Like they don't turn on the camera and they don't say, I don't like you for X, Y, and Z. Or they do, uh, uh, you know, but the very like subliminal, it's always very subliminal and whatnot. And so then I was sent uh, a picture and then I went into the actual Facebook group of uh, where a troll was just running mouth about SF Investigates. You can have your opinions about the man. I don't give a shit. He has been respectful and cordial with me. Very, I appreciate his work. And I've, I've been following him for, I think, about a year now. So I've seen some of his stuff. So shout out to him. Um, it's very passive aggressive. But I think it's funny because there was a person on the like Facebook true crime group that posted some bullshit about SF. And... It, it, it was so ridiculous that then you had people under there trying to co-sign it. And it was a lie that they posted. They basically said that one of the investigators that's working along with SF, uh, his name is investigator, I think, Thompson, Kelly Thompson. He um, apparently talked to this troll and this troll uh, said that OSF, you wasn't really working with the family. And then Kelly Thompson had to actually get under that post and said, when did I ever speak to you, troll? It's that kind of BS that really gets to me because it's like, how is that conducive to helping the family? Your ish, whether it's with SF or whatever other person, how is that conducive? How is that helpful to the family? This is the kind of BS that just starts up and it truly gives true crime creators, anybody that talks about true crime, such a bad name. And I wasn't, I was like, do I really want to go on this tangent? Because I don't feel like I really need to. Uh, I feel like, especially my audience, y'all already know, you know, you know how we get down over here. Um, it, it's just so crazy to me though, because this is real life that the investigator had to get on that troll and said, when did I ever speak to you? This is what these people do. They tend to send trolls to go try to defame or start some drama. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. These are just some of the screenshots. Hold up. Why am I opening multiple windows? I shouldn't be. These are um, <laughs> exactly, Julie, exactly. Um, here it is. I wonder where this troll came from. This is what I was asking. It's low when these low lives come into Facebook justice groups to give misinformation when the professionals are working. Get the fuck off with this shit, basically. So this girling, uh coughs, cars, something, something, uh, posted something on this Facebook group. And I was like, you know, and shout out to the person that sent it to me. Um, they said, I spoke with private investigator Kelly Thompson, who was hired by Chelsea's parents. He said that SF Investigate guy is not working with him or Chelsea's family. Also said that SF Investigate uh, has been putting out false info about the case on Twitter. Just letting y'all know. And I saw that shit and I immediately commented and then suddenly this troll goes away. But, you know, there were some other people who were like, well, 
we we know that he's not working directly because here's and I said no. No, 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 no. He is. Stop the cap. I went into the trolls page and they had the Black Lives Matter thing thing. And then I was like, funny, interesting. No justice, no peace. We'll be protesting outside of Leilani's house. This was back in October 28th. Wow, like almost a year today. Hashtag Quentin Simon. I said, man, man, man. Sometimes these trolls tend to tell on themselves and show which camp they're coming from. Mr. Kelly Thompson went under there and said, Gurleen, when did you ever talk with me? Steve with SF Investigates is working with my agency. And this far, and this far, he has proven himself as a valuable resource. Please, folks, this is a serious matter. We are doing everything possible to find Chelsea Grimm. So let's post factual. God bless you all. And if you find any solid intelligence, please let me know. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. But this is this is th this is the craziness. This is why it's hard to do true crime. It's why it's hard for anybody to be taken serious on any of these platforms because y'all don't even get paid to do this bullshit and you do this bullshit. Truly. That's crazy. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Shout out to everybody. Thank you for being here. And too many people want to be the most important creator or whatever out there. Right. It's so crazy. I'm like, yo, <clears throat> and that's how you could tell who's the real and who isn't this isn't about making somebody famous i please note that like who wants to be i, I don't get that this this whole like, notion that somehow being youtube famous is the end all and be all okay i guess when you don't have a whole lot going on for yourself this is kind of like that last resort uh people want to really establish themselves in the metaverse Let the professionals do what they have to do, okay? Stop trolling. This is a real case. Real families. Get a fucking life. <laughs> Please. Get a life. And it's funny because suddenly that post was deleted and nobody said anything. They deleted it immediately, which was fine because you don't want that kind of drama in a justice group. But... You already know, I was like, let me get my Twitter fingers out and I have to say something because I wasn't going to let some troll and then they just post it on some Facebook page and then there's nothing to really show for it. Absolutely attention seeking kind of behavior. Absolutely. Absolutely. Exactly. Exactly, Stormy. Sit down and eat your food, troll. That's what you got to do. And I, like I said, I have an idea where this came from and why would you lie on someone like that right no worries pebble thank you for for um following through love thank you thank you maybe it's someone who may have received a previous cnd lord have mercy i don't know man <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't know all right let's get it it, it is very sick pebbles for sure um and it, it sometimes it can be a popularity contest that's what it seems like to me Okay, let's get it together because I'm not going to be here for too long. I definitely need to get some rest if I'm going to go to the surgery tomorrow or not. Hopefully they don't cancel on me. We'll find out. Well, I'll let you guys know. Okay, um, SF provided a posting on, what, the 27th, okay? Well, that was yesterday. And he initially, and we'll, we'll look at it all. I did have a conversation with SF, and I completely understand and it's going to give a little bit more context to some of this, I think. Um, but I'm very limited to what I can and can't say out of respect for the family, the investigation, and SF. But he posted on the 28th was or 27th, I have left Williams and the search for Chelsea Grimm. Although I hope to locate Chelsea, today I did not find evidence. Excuse me. Today I did find evidence through eyewitness accounts and video surveillance. That may give us a reason to be cautiously optimistic that Chelsea is alive. I have included a few seconds of a four-minute surveillance video of Chelsea at a motel. 
and describing her intentions to go off the grid and start a new life to the front desk person. She changed her mind when checking in because her credit card is trackable. She comes back a second time and has another discussion with the female. This does not prove that she is okay and that and that something did not go wrong in the forest. But it gives hope that she's trying to make a change in her life and doesn't realize a large scale attempt to find her is taking place. If that's the case, then this is not a deception or faking disappearance. This is someone that is suffering and trying to find a solution. I am not going to share the full clip or the full context of the audio. I have sent it to the family's lead PI. Shout out to Mr. Mr. Thompson. As far as I'm concerned, none of the time and effort spent searching for her would be wasted if this happened to be the case. This surveillance is from September 28th, around 11 a.m. Later that evening is when she is caught on body cam. Okay. So this is the a bit of the footage. That's why I actually don't think this is a very good idea. So, that's why I actually don't think this is a very good idea. So, that's why I actually don't think this is a very good idea. So, I see on her shoulder, Vic, that she has the bearded dragon on her shoulder. Y'all see that? Kind of like the brown thing that's falling. I, I see it clearly, but I don't know. I could be the only one. Let me know. Um, interesting. Uh, not in a good state of mind, perhaps. Perhaps. Um, as it goes, if someone is missing, we want to find them. Right. Absolutely, generally, Jenny. Yeah, do, do y'all see that? I see, and I mean, I don't know if you guys can take a screenshot and zoom in a little bit. I can't do it right now. You see him? Okay. Um, it blow it up. I could see the 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 dragon right on her shoulder. They don't look like they're in distress. Um, she doesn't at least. That doesn't mean that she's not in danger. I really don't know. Uh, uh, um, <clears throat> but I'm kind of curious. Hold up. So okay, hold up. I'm trying to see what you guys are saying. You're right, Rabbit. Make it bigger and you can see it. Good call, Rabbit. Yeah, you could see it. Let me see if I can do it for my phone real quick, okay? Hold up. Let's go to X. And by the way, hold up. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold. I'm going to try to get it on my phone real quick. Yeah. The the dragon looks like it's just hanging out. I'm going to try to zoom in real quick. You don't see it, Jess? I see it. Um but I'm going to try I, I could see where people are maybe having a hard time seeing it. It looks like she just has extra hair. Uh but it's there for sure. It's on her shoulder. Y'all see that? And it's like, I'm going to see if I can use my mouse. It's right over here. Okay. Let me see if I can. I don't think I can zoom into this. It won't let me. But it's like right on her shoulder. And my mouse is right over it. Okay. I'm going to try to send this picture to myself real quick. Let me edit it and blow it up. Don't die on me, phone. Don't die on me, phone. Okay. Upload. I think my phone's gonna die. See, I always I never charge my phone. That's the problem with me. Look at her hat next to her too. She could be wearing. You said a hat? Look at at hat next to her. That hat right there, you mean on the counter? Yeah, that hat is that her hat? Yeah, I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice that. Okay, I just pulled the picture. Good, good uh, calling that out. Hold up. Let me show you guys. I don't know if this is the better picture, but I, I just could, I see 
the lizard, or not the lizard, the bearded dragon. Here you go. Y'all see that? And let me try to, I mean, I could try to zoom in, but it's, it's like a lighter brown shade of her hair. You definitely see it? He's facing her shoulder. Yeah, that's the, that's the dragon. That looks like the dragon to me. It's grainy with the phone screenshot. It is. You you didn't see the hat? Yeah, the hat is on the counter. Um, um M Dog O Dizzle, shout out to you. She's the one that pointed that out. Hold up. Let's go back a little bit, okay? Is that her hat? Or somebody else's hat? Um, I I can't really see a whole lot other than she's wearing sunglasses. She looks like she has a sundress. Okay. Um, you don't see it, Stacy? It's kind of like it's on the shoulder. Look at her shoulder. Her shoulder is bare, right? But you can see a little bit of light brown. And then there's a hat there. I'm assuming that that's her hat. She's got her shades on, right? She's interacting well. Okay. Yes. Um, its legs clearly show that it's coming slightly off her upper shoulder. Yeah, it almost blends with the chair. <laughs> she has her, she has like a, a burgundy bag on the side of her. Y'all see that? Y'all see that burgundy bag? She doesn't appear to be in distress. She's talking. She looks pretty normal. It looks like a blister on her shoulder. It does. Yeah, the light, car, the light. I'm so glad you said that right here. Look, I don't know if it shows. Let me see if I'm going to try to do something real quick. Okay, y'all. Bear with me. Don't let me rhythm. Okay, there's my mouse. I see my mouse. Okay, y'all see my mouse right there? Okay, play, play. Try to play this. All right, you see my mouse right there? It's, there's the lizard right there. You see the lizard's like leg right here? Like little tail. It blends in with their hair right there. It's right there. And then she's got her burgundy bag right there, right? This is her hat. She has like a little sundress thing going on. Very cute. Um, And some sunglasses, okay? That's what you said, okay. It's small. It's not that big, no. Yeah, his head is, is right by her hair, backwards towards the right door. The lizard is facing, basically facing out to the window, okay? Like, it's on her shoulder, but it's facing out. The toe part comes off the shoulder a bit. That's what you meant. Okay. Let me know if you guys see it. If you see it. Yeah, you see him now? Okay. Everybody says they're seeing it now. Okay. I can see him, and I have two. Okay, cool. She really does not appear to be in this. No, she doesn't appear to be in distress. I would probably second that, right? So I want to go back to um, SF's post. because. Um, he adds more context to this, okay? Hold up. So that was the first one. We just saw that. Okay. And then he puts, I will provide, I will provide a little more context since uh, many people are messaging that they can't understand what she is saying in the video. I understand that it's easier for me since I have the full four minutes. Chelsea wants to rent a room. She initially puts down her card, her credit card, and then says, actually, that's why I don't think this is a great idea. She says she doesn't want to be tracked by the card or by using her name. She then asks if she can use euros. Let me stop right there. Remember when somebody had said that she was asking to pay in euros? Which means then she didn't have cash. She only had card. Right? Huh. You can tell that she, you could tell in her movements too. She's not really moving that shoulder too much. Pay in cash and use the false name. Y'all remember that article? We read it. 
No, she, it sounds like, so SF is giving more context to that. When we interviewed SF, we asked, we asked him about that. And I think back then, which was, I think it was like a Monday or a Sunday of last week. <clears throat> he was, he said that it was Sunday of last week. It sure was. He said that, um, he said they weren't going to give a whole lot of attention to that quite yet because they're still searching for her, right? This is that narrative that the witnesses were saying when she said she was going to pay in euros. Okay. She then asked if she can use euros. She actually has euros on her. There is a conversation about why she doesn't want to be tracked. And those details I can't disclose right now. She comes back about two hours later and has a conversation with the woman and even and even more is disclosed. Later, that same afternoon, she appeared at another business. I also met with them today. This situation is very delicate. It's a balance between privacy and outreach to find Chelsea. Part of the reason I'm disclosing some of these details is to let Chelsea know if she is reading this, I, slash we, will help you get to a safe space. I don't break promises. Trust me on this. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, somebody asked in the chat, I hope, she's, I hope she's safe while hiding. Are you sure she's not being extremely paranoid and in need of intensive mental health care? A person in crisis is so vulnerable and can't cause more harm than the imagined threat they are fleeing from. SF response, I'm not saying anything. I do not have any information that Chelsea is somewhere off the grid. I only suggest that there can be there can be some cautious optimism that she may that this may be the case. It's only a possibility. All right. And somebody, Becky says, understood. Um, I apologize if you shared this already and I missed it. But was this the footage found slash given to you after the days of the search or did you door did it come come after you started searching? And if you can't disclose totally yet, I get it. Thank you for your work. SF responds. I found it yesterday after going to, uh, going business to business, asking to check their archive surveillance and they have a 30 day slash plus retention day policy. Which I think it's great. I mean, I think it's great that they're willing to, like, it's interesting because a lot of businesses don't really share footages. Um, they don't really share footage unless there's like a subpoena, you know? I'm just saying. Let me see what you guys are saying. It is interesting. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Did I just get trolled? <laughs> it must be the same one that's been trolling everybody. Um, okay. I was curious that she was a, okay. Truth, infamous truth teller says, rabbit. I'm curious. I was curious that she was at a DV shelter. DV shelter won't disclose information regardless of who calls for their safety. You know? Um, yes. I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I really do hope that she's okay. Honestly, like I honestly do hope that she's okay. But let me share with you guys some stuff, okay? So I saw some pictures, okay? I was shown some pictures that have not been released to the public. And um, in the pictures, um, there were some items okay items that thank you Vic I, I know where this troll is from actually by the way just so you know <laughs> I know where they're from uh okay you're gonna have to get a new account to come back here Thank you guys. I you you already knew. You already knew. You already knew. <laughs> I told you. I t I already knew where the troll was coming from. Um Okay. I truly hope she's okay. So, okay, so I was shown some pictures of some items, okay? And
she was staging items that she had with her, okay, in a very ritualistic way, okay? And I completely understand when when I saw these pictures, I completely understood why SF said what he said. All right. Um, no, not not that, not that at all. Just items that she had. Um, they were set up in a very ri ritualistic way. So like. There was detail detail to the things that were being set up that it would make it, it kind of made me wonder like it did give me at least when i saw the inclination that you know she needed she she uh, how do i say this hold up and let me go back to his wording This idea right here, where he says, where Chelsea wants to rent a room, initially put down her credit card, and then says, actually, that's why I don't think this is a great idea. She says she doesn't want to be tracked. I feel like um, there is some, some truth to that. Okay. She's leaving. She, she set things up in a ritualistic way. I will say that that much. Um, so much so that it's like, it, it kind of leaves, she, first of all, she's, she was taking photographs at a cemetery, right? So I, I think that, and it was in the evening time, right? And it was a bit suspicious that she was doing that. You kind of have to understand, um, whether she was taking pictures or whatever she was doing, uh, what was the intent behind that? And and when I saw what I saw, she definitely um, gave me the impression that she shares, she, she's that person that connects with time and moments in time, right? So like if you do things in a certain way, she wants to to leave that behind, if that makes sense. It, it I, I would say so, but I don't I don't know if that's necessarily if she's contemplating that. I truly think that she is maybe seeking something like like not wanting to be tracked, right? And I'm I'm using SF's words, so making things kind of leaving thing as such so that people can understand your thought process when you left but almost saying like all right uh changing completely different somewhat of a detachment but also there's meaning to that yes big says uh kind of like that but not in a not in an attempt way okay not in like a suicide way it's almost it, like even if you think about when the body cam footage when she was stopped and you know she she seems to be um she 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 takes those things very much personal she was crying you know because she seemed to have really connected with those that have lost their life at the cemetery and the fallen soldiers and stuff like that i think it says a lot about who she is as a person and also wanting to um wanting to leave something ritualistic okay not and, and don't think of it as an and any type of an occult way that's not what i mean but the details to things that she was leaving behind was very interesting um it, it almost like a sign right like she's leaving behind oh i love that you said that like traces pieces very interesting way to put it that's as much as i can say and, and I will say that, you know, I truly hope that if she is, like SF says, you know, she's running away from something, uh, whatever the situation may be, that 
she knows that help is out there and that she could reach out to people. Rabbit reflecting and connecting is something like that, similar. As in starting a totally new life, but wanting people to know that she's not a, similar. I would say that, right? Symbolic, ritualistic. So it, it might be weird to all of us, but it's a level of normalcy for her, kind of like a footprint to the world. But that doesn't necessarily mean that she's seeking to to commit any type of an act upon herself. I think that that's something that we have to be very clear. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's be very clear that that's not what she's trying to do. So, um, and I looked at, I said, let me make sure that I'm defining this word correctly. So I like, Google search ritualistic. So relating to or characteristic of a ritual followed as part of a religious or solemn ceremony, a ritualistic act of worship. So, if um if I'm attached, there's a couple of things that I'm attached to, right? The computer is not one of them, thank God. My cell phone is not one of them, thank God. Oh, I love that you said that. Kind of like a legacy, right? Like, um, I would say that this is a good way to say it, but say it like this, right? Uh, because I feel like people are can can interpret that as like an end of life decision, and that's not at all what this is. Um, I think it's just a decision to, as she said to this person, not to be tracked. Pain in euros, right? But she just very much gives me this like impression that she's very much in in tune with with her spirituality, with herself, um, and that she has a lot of empathy uh, towards maybe the things that are around her. I wouldn't be surprised if her bearded dragon is okay. I, I get the sense that that's, you know, that she's taking well care of this, but this animal, but um, we just don't know. Yeah, I will definitely be watching the entire life after Rabbit is done, says Sandra. Okay. <laughs> she's in tune with their emotions. Yeah. Um, an empath. Isn't that what they call it when you're like, I I'm sorry, I'm not well versed in an empath. I think that that's like the, the thing that people say you know, when they call you like an empath, what does that mean? Individual who feels more empathy than the average human. I think she's definitely an empath. Yeah. And so when I saw some of these pictures and what seem a little bit of a real ritualistic stuff that she was doing, um, it definitely gave me a, an empath. And so she very much, yes, Tess, I love that you said that, like self-aware and grounded with what's going on. So much so that the witness that heard her say she doesn't want to be tracked. She's thinking about these things ahead of time. Um, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what my thought is. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. And leaving an imprint. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a blessing and a curse. And I promise it. Absolutely. I'm an uh, empath and I get overwhelmed by people and energy. Okay. In tune with her emotions. Sounds like a personal belief. A way to show those that she has a new life. Yeah. It's like a new life decision. Yes. For empaths, sometimes you want to run away. Not even necessarily because uh, of the hurts done to you. But seeing people hurt each other. It's draining. I love that you said that, um, Julie. So when I saw these pictures. And, and again, I, I'm sure that if this was like a crime scene, I wouldn't have been able to see any of these pictures, right? At all. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have been able to see any of these pictures. But um, I don't think that this, this is what this was, okay? So I, I really do hope that she is found, at least that she knows. If she doesn't want to be found, that's absolutely her choice. But I just hope, like, for the sake of her family, um, and for the sake of everybody else out, that we know that, you know, the, the people love her and care for her, um, and that people are thinking about her, you know, that's it. Absolutely. Um, life can be so hard and wear on empaths. Absolutely. Thank you. 
Uh, makes sense though. Making sure maybe making sure those who know her, she's okay and she needs to be left alone. Right, Margo? Um, can you share these items? I can't in the car, in the I can't share any of that. Um, I and I I didn't see like oh, I only saw a couple of pictures. I can't share what items. Um I'm gonna I'll let the professionals do that. Uh, but what I was shown, I will say that um yeah, I would say that she is somebody who's very much in touch with her, with herself, with their feelings, um, and maybe just needed a little bit more support. Grab it. She can't stand in a desert that long without water. You know, and I, I would be concerned about that too, Brandon. Honestly, I truly would be. I just hope she didn't take more than she can handle, especially if she's in the wilderness. Absolutely. Um, like a new change, like a phoenix bird. Ooh, that's a good way to put it. Uh, you know, Brandon, but we don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm an identical twin, so I thought it was a, a twin thing, but I'm the same with all people. I pick up what their vibes are saying, and I feel for them. And I think this is somebody who is that way as well. Plus, she recently found Jesus and the Bible. Says, uh, and I heard that there might have, you know, that that might have been maybe... Maybe she found a connection with that. Maybe she's just dyeing her hair and isn't hiding per day or per se, potentially. I, I think, um, you know what, all of this is, is concerning. My hope is that she's okay. That's the biggest thing. That That is the biggest thing is that I hope she's okay, you know, or she's searching for a connection. Ab absolutely. Tear up over the Alicia Navarro thing, then Matthew Perry, then reading this article, I absorb what others say. Oh, wow, Jamie. I literally can feel everybody's energy in the room, and I physically can feel it, and I get extremely overwhelmed because I don't know how to turn it off, and it's high energy or negative energy. I think the question is, what made her, um, like, what made her want to say, you know what, um, like, was something very much overwhelmed? She doesn't want to be tracked. So that could very well be a choice that she's making. But is it a choice or is there a mental health issue at play? You know? Yes, I, I would be too. I would be too. Is it a choice or, or is there a mental health issue at play? Because if it was, I, I was thinking about this. I said, well, if it was a choice, she would just say like, listen, I don't want to be found. That's it. I'm done with being Chelsea Grimm, y'all take it from here. I'm taking my bearded dragon and moving on. I'm wondering if the bearded, bearded dragon has a name. Maybe she feels that she has uh, what she is feeling is deep and only she can figure it out. Right, Tess? That does happen. You know, and it's so crazy because like yesterday when we talked about uh, Chelsea isn't taking any minor children with her, right? Yesterday, we talked about um, Blaze Thibodeau that was taken by his mother and the uncle. Um, he was lied to and he was taken and he is a minor child. OK. Here she is. This is just Chelsea. Chelsea's not a minor child, so she can very much choose to be away if she wants to. I just hope she can tell her family she's OK. I know they were worried sick of her. Absolutely. Perhaps she's investigating something. She's looking for something, potentially. Right. Thank God he was found. That And that's a whole different situation. Bearded dragons are amazing. They really are. My son was set on fire as a teen and his beardy hall. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sandra. Thank you for sharing, though. Wow. She says his name uh, to the police officer. Yeah, she does. Right, SW? She does. Perhaps she's, uh, yeah, she's investigating something. Right. Let me see what you guys are saying. Um, I'm only concerned because her parents were not kept in the loop. Empathy usually cares. Oh, that's a good point, Erin. So, like, which kind of makes you wonder how close she is to her parents, though, right? You would have to wonder, like, how close is she to her parents? To not even want to tell them where she's going and her wanting to disappear. Kind of makes you wonder. 
Yes. Oh, Rossi. Thank you, T-Sal. So the bearded dragon is Rossi? See, I didn't even know. Not Roxy. Rossi. Right, t -Salas? Um, In your opinion, what kind of a mental health situation do you think could play into something like this? I know it would be complete speculation, but like depression or paranoia? Um, I have a family member. Um, I had two. But one is no longer with us and she would go missing for weeks months she would just go missing um and it was typically during the time that she um you know she was not medicated she um was struggling and this was in this was in mexico so she's um her you know, it's crazy because, how do I say this? Because she's not, she was not a person that was like, people have such, how do I say this? People have the really wrong idea about mental health as it pertains to when somebody wants to go missing, right? Like, it's not always your paranoid schizophrenic, okay? Um, not all, it's not always like that. Uh, there's typically layers to this. So I think that that's something to kind of keep in mind. But it could be a lot of things that would have triggered it. And I kind of wonder if what were, was she, so, was she showing signs of this prior to her disappearance? Like, were there things that they could have picked up on? Has she been fully diagnosed with something? Um, but people have the wrong idea of schizophrenia. That's what I'm going to say. Um, it's not always that. Um, Sure, there might be components of paranoia. Okay. It, it is hard to understand. It, it, it's not very well to explain. And the thing is, is everybody gets diagnosed a little bit different. So it's not a one size fits all. Oh, wow. They're very loving and love. Really? My goodness. Y'all are making sound bearded dragons like the best pet to ever have. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, man, I don't think I could take care of an animal like that. That's just my thought. Okay, I've had depression severe enough to induce psychosis. Yes, Jamie, that's a real thing. I don't even want to put this out there from a medical standpoint. What could be because people may take it as a fact. Yes, Pebbles. Um, we have to be careful. Margot says I have serious anxiety. Uh, and serious phone anxiety feels like that could come into play. She told her parents she was camping. I feel like she did that to let them know. You know. Yeah, you're right. She did communicate with that. She said she was going to a wedding. Then she's like, plans changed. And like, what triggered between the the wedding and the road trip to where we're at right now? You know? I don't know. Let me see what you guys are saying before we head out. People say you're too, too sensitive. Well, I don't know how to stop giving a shit. Oh, I know. I know the feeling. Yeah, um, y'all make me want one. I know. Y'all are like making sounds bearded dragons like they're the best pets. <laughs> we become introverted when exhausted. Wow. I can't believe anyone is saying they can't see the little. I mean, you know, our body's a little bit different. Everybody's a little bit different. Sometimes you can't see it. It could be trauma response to PTSD. Absolutely. I wish people could explain what her effects was like when she came into contact. Right. There is a lot, and you know, my hope is like, you okay? I'm an INFP, as far as I can tell. INFPs have an innate ability to be deeply in tune with their own emotions and experiences, as well as pick up on subtle cues from other people. Interesting. Yeah. Um. When I look at this video now, this is not the full video. Clearly, the SF put out it sounds like th it's four minutes i don't hear her in this like she's stressed out i don't hear her um now that doesn't mean that it's not happening we don't know but it's not given that it's also not given that her parent her, her pet is looks like well taken care of for the most part so i mean i don't know it's it's a lot and it's not a whole lot that we're seeing here to even come to a conclusion. I do love the fact that they were able to give out that little, you know, 
video and whatnot because that's helpful. I'm the only child. There's times I just want to be by myself and have my downtime, and that's just simply it. Wow. Um. Okay. Maybe a breakup. I something might have triggered her for like if she told her parents, "I'm going to this wedding." Something might have triggered something. That's what I'm thinking. But hopefully more information comes out. And if she doesn't want to be found, then that's her choice too, right? There's not a whole lot we can do. But at least it's her choice and it's not anything else. It's not like somebody's like not allowing her to be found. I think she's just on a self-discovery. Oh, is a good way to put it. I love that you said that. Erin says, also, she said, I can do this alone, meaning driving across country, but then she's alone. Unnerving. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Cape says, I went to the middle of nowhere with my my dog and cats. INFPs are empathy like, are empathy like me. I had to check out to process without outside influence. Wow, that's deep. But I really love your comment on my dog. This is a great comment. Um, I wonder how she's traveling. Well, yeah, I wonder how she's traveling now and where she's at. Total theory, she could be prego and scared, so she is gone for a bit to deal. Some parents would still have a fit about it. I say she has help. I say she has help. Thank you for the four ninety nine SW. I mean, it's, it's a theory. It's a theory. Rabbit, if she had an an out of range in the middle of Arizona, I'd be concerned. Yeah, Brandon. Um. But if she doesn't want to be found, worse, like, I guess I don't know what her belongings, what all that look like. And I'm not privy to that information. If she's out of phone range, we don't even know if she has phone access, right? Maybe her past is coming to haunt her. Just a theory. Absolutely. Arizona has a lot of uh, off the grid communes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Anyways, guys, well, I will let you guys go. Because I got to go tend to baby bunny and it's late. Hey, Miss Amber and Amy, everybody. KCG, thank you for coming through. And Deborah, um, it is late. So I got to go. I got to go tend to baby bunny. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, and then also let me know if you can hear me. Again, I have this new headset and I'm trying my best to, you know, uh, I have 15 days to return it if this thing is not working. You let me know, okay? Shout out to everybody in the chat. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys on the next one. I truly hope that this young woman is found if that, you know, she wants to stay off. And that is her choice. That is her choice. But truly, I hope that, you know, whatever it may be. Thank you, Run With Scissors. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you. I'm wishing the best, too, hopefully. All right, y'all. You guys have a great night. Grab it out. <laughs>